Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video. And listen, before we even get started in today's video, I gotta say shout out to the Finesse gang. Those who get here early, subscribe, finesse the bell, drop a like, and leave a comment early on in the video, and you just might see your name scrolling up and down the screen right here with me. I want to make sure I at least got the Finesse Gang in here somewhere. I haven't done a vlog in a little while, which is usually where I would throw the Finesse Gang in. So this is an unboxing. Here you go. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and explain what we're getting into today. Now, before the Finesse Gang was over, we got a couple of boxes and I got new pickups from Nike um, and Jordan Brand. A shock drop happened yesterday. If you don't know, it's probably in the thumbnail. But yes, an early sneaker drop, two and a half weeks early and definitely one of the most anticipated Jordan sneakers of 2019 for sure. I'm still waiting to hear any more news on the cool grades because that was another shoe that was supposedly could release So JB are we getting the cool gray fours again or not? Nah? Also had two boxes coming from Puma got some stuff from Supreme as well as the homies from Prevay the new big pun and pleasures collab I got a couple pieces from there and that is what is in all of these boxes right here behind the finesse gang So like I said finesse gang, I appreciate y'all much love to you as always I try to work you guys in here. I'm actually just kind of rambling so I can get some more names up on the screen but without further ado finesse gang i gotta go ahead and get y'all off the screen and let's get into these pickups now first off i'm gonna start with these three pickups um like i said come from Prevay. now i know this collection is dropping tomorrow on pleasures um or pleasures now i know some of y'all say don't google just pleasures.com yet yeah, pleasuresnow.com but i actually got mine in a bit early from the homies over at Prevé. now i'm not sure if they're gonna be tossing their collection up tomorrow but if you want to follow them i will leave a link down below you can follow them and i'm pretty sure they'll update y'all as soon as this stuff hits the site so like i said big pun pleasures and parts of this is being a part of the proceeds are actually being donated which is really dope and this is an official collab you know what i mean it says sony music entertainment big pun his estate all that this is an official tissue collab now this first one i have is just called the christopher t it's all over black has a photo of of course christopher lee or big pun on the front all over camoed out nothing too crazy the picture says it all but i really like the back it says in loving memory christopher lee rios big pun 1971 to 2000 and it says pleasures on the back kind of like that um almost you know r.i.p type t um unfortunately airbrush kind of design it's not airbrush but you guys know exactly where this design comes from but overall i really really dig the back on this one um pleasure stuff fits true to size in my opinion and like i said this one was called the christopher t next up we had this right here and this is the beware t on the front once again a bigger photo of pun on the front Got Pleasures on the bottom and that all over red. Kind of that usual Pleasures logo underneath of it. I do like the colors on this. It's red, black, tan, and blue. I like those mixture of colors on the front. A good photo to pick. And then flipping to the back, we got a quote. The first album was 99% hardcore to show you I was the best rhymer in the world. So bland that is a quote on the back and like i said this is the beware tea this is actually a really really dope tea i'm just glad that all the colors are here not sure if they punched up the contrast and saturation on the photo but i really really dig that and that is the beware tea and then last up we have the stats tea which i actually really really dig this one um on the front you guys are going to see that big pun logo you got big pun on the front with the mic kind of like a jump man logo it says big pun pleasures now i know there's a long sleeve and a short sleeve this is the short sleeve version of it it's an all over white red and black and then the back you got big pun and his stat sheet you got him dunking in the new york jersey on the back really really like the colors on this tee as well good photos that they pick birth name also known as aka's born when they pass genres years active labels everything is there for you to see and this is the stats tee once again Really, really appreciate Prevay sending in these tees over. And I know people are going to be looking for this collab. So if you didn't know, now you know. I know it releases tomorrow on Pleasures Now. So it's a little early on that collection. But also the homies at Prevay, which is where I got them, will have it. Now getting to the two bags we have right here. I did get two quick pickups from Supreme in these two bags. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and get into these two pants first. Or this pair of pants first because I can't even wear them, bro. It was definitely an impulse buy just because I caught the restock on them. And. Um, I was thinking that maybe I could sell these joints get a pair that I actually really liked or some other supreme I'm that I was really digging now These are stickers from both orders You got a couple stickers right here that are a little bit more recent and then your two regular old supreme Box logo sticker that came with both orders now this right here are the mountain arc logo pants Basically, these are the North Face 
um, Gore-Tex joints that drop. Now this is a size medium, um, and I just I reacted kind of too quick because I really liked either the yellow or the teal pants, um, but I knew I would at least need an XL in this type of pants, especially coming from Supreme. Um, and I just kind of jumped the gun and ordered the first thing that popped up, and then later on, a lot of the sizes started popping up and da 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 da. So I kind of jumped the gun, bought these pants, and um, basically now I'm, I'm I'm stuck with these shits. So I'm basically gonna have to let them go um, at some point, whether that's through StockX, whether that's through the bodega, who knows? But I did get this pair of pants. But I also got this tee on once again a restock. And some of y'all probably asking like, Supreme restock? Like, how does that? Supreme doesn't restock, how does that work? So what it is, is I'm assuming that throughout the day, either orders get canceled, um, cars don't go through, and some sizes of certain things do pop up. You just gotta be following the right people, and sometimes you can catch a tip, then blam, you get it. So this is the Persistence of Memory T, obviously based off of a Salvador Dali art piece, as you guys can see right here. And I actually picked this one up in the natural colorway. Um, you guys know me. I always says, but I'm pretty picky with Supreme, but I really dug this colorway. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty stoked to go ahead and get this one on a restock. I know some shirts have been sitting um, in the beginning. I'm just pretty sure that I slept through the release of this one. I woke up, they popped back up for sale in my size, so I just went ahead and grabbed the tee. Now let's go ahead and get into these shoe boxes. Now we got two shoe boxes on the top. This first one, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on. Um, Puma just dropped this at my door. And this is another one of those shoes that I told you guys was a great spring and summer shoe even mentioned this colorway and obviously this is Puma and MTV and this is going to be one of like three or four different MTV shoes that they had they did include a little message for me hey Christian make moves with the RSX MTV tracks hashtag Futro, I believe, at Puma Sports Style. So I always appreciate them. And um, this was an RSX in that MTV colorway. A really nice shade of purple in this all over crazy teal. Now, once again, I do think this is a great shoe, but I will like to say that sizing, um, I think, go half size up. I do have a wider foot, but I can already tell that this 12 is gonna be a little bit tight on the toe, and that 12 and a half, it may not even exist in this shoe. So I have the unfortunate decision when stuff is sent to me like this, either get the 12, or the 13 and have them maybe be a little bit big. I already got a big enough foot at size 12, y'all gang. The 13, sometimes I just go for the insole takeout, even though I hate doing that as well. But this was just a quick one. Once again, thank you to Puma for sending these MTV RSXs over. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these back in the box because although this is a new model, we actually got a very, very old model that came in as well. And I was, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty excited to see how these were gonna look, was the quality gonna be there, and how they looked on feet. And just like the Palace Guard, how I told you guys, I was digging that Puma was reaching back in the archives and kind of grabbing older sneakers. This box is, this box is so stuck in here, bro. So the shoe I have been talking about is from, once again, the Puma archive, as it says on the top of this box. And this is the Puma Ralph Sampson Mid. Now this is basically a 30 year old sneaker. This is the 30 year anniversary of this particular sneaker. And just like with the Palace Guard, this is the same thing reaching back for an old school, super, super old school silhouette. And I am not sure if Puma has ever retro these. And if they have, I doubt that they've retro them this well. So one of the things that really pulled me to this Ralph Sampson Mid, you guys know that I love thrifting, I love vintage stuff. And this is literally a vintage shoe brought back in 2019. And um, I wouldn't exactly know because I wasn't born back then, but what seems to be pretty true to form. And another thing I like is the toe box. Now on a lot of old sneakers, older retros, when sneakers are brought back, they mess up the shape or the toe box, and from the pictures, once again, I wasn't alive back then, but from the pictures and what I've been seeing, it seems like the shape stays pretty true to the original, and I really, really can dig that. But overall, I mean, quality, even on foot, I think they look really well. I like them above the high cut or this mid cut top. Even over like this first hump, the back is like super plush leather. I love the gold Ralph Sampson, the gold Puma Majesty on the side as well. It just really gives you that retro vintage vibe, and that's something that I love in clothing and sneakers, and y'all already know that if you've been following the channel. Now, you will be seeing a fit pick in these very, very soon, and when you do, make sure to drop a like on that joint. The Puma Ralph Sampson Mid, I love the shape. I love the colors, even though I can't wait for that purple pair. Um, I like the purple, but the blue, the blue is definitely clean in person. Now this shoe, yesterday was a shock drop on sneakers. I ordered mine, um, paid the one day shipping. And I will say that with Nike, I have to salute them with their one day shipping because it is truly next day. These shipped out at probably like 
eight or nine yesterday night and they are already to me today by probably like 12 like noon or between noon and two and i mean y'all seen the just do it tape on the box the nike on the side it's, it's not time it's, it's not waste time okay the flight on the box y'all already know what's going on i was so happy to actually be able to get these on nike sneakers early i'm not gonna lie to y'all i was stressing a little bit trying to source a pair shouts out to the homie fine line um i reached out to him and he was gonna see if he could help me out i was just looking i was looking 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 how can I get the bread Air Jordan 4s? And then Nike did a shock drop. It did kind of fuck up at first. They appeared and they took them off. And then I just kept refreshing. And eventually, I don't know why my box is, my box is like attached. There we go. And eventually it fixed itself and they were able to purchase. I got through the bread Air Jordan 4s for retail early off Nike sneakers, the overnight shipping with the Nike Air tag on the side. I mean, do I need, I don't think I, I don't really even need to say much. The bread Air Jordan 4s for 2019, one of the most anticipated sneakers of this year. And I just wanted to unbox them really quick with you guys, kind of share my first reactions on them. I mean, they look good. I, I, I don't really see anything wrong with mine over a quick, quick look over. Really, really dig the Nike hit on the bottom instead of the Jordan Jump Man. The Nike on the back, I mean, we've been asking for it. We have been asking for Nike Air back on the sneakers and they're coming back and doing it right on some definite, definite classic models. Now the review for this shoe will be up tomorrow. I will get on it ASAP Rocky. So if you're looking for a review on this shoe, I will be dropping that tomorrow for y'all. Go ahead, like I said, finesse the bell. It will be up for you. And yeah, man, straight off of Nike sneakers with the crazy ass looking tongue on this one, the bread air jordan 4 just glad to have these and to get them early for retail is nothing but a blessing but anyways man i hope you all enjoyed much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there buzz of course i mean wait actually i about to say i don't got no shoes but hold on the breads they're right here bullet rc and i'm gonna see you on the next video Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me go ahead and get up out of here because I might have to record the talking bar tonight, do all the B-roll tomorrow. Just be looking for the review very, very soon on these. I'll see y'all next time though. Y'all be easy. Much love. Peace. Put it over my side, yeah.